These are five Mandela effects that are gonna fuck you up in the asshole. The Mandela effect has been fucking me in the motherfucking asshole. Fucking me in the ass. The Mandela effect has been fucking us both in the asshole. In the asshole. Why do people have to ruin everything? Just what the fuck? For those of you who don't know, the Mandela effect is named after Nelson Mandela, a dude that a lot of people thought died in prison in the 80s, but actually ended up dying in 2013. This is what coined the phenomenon of basically believing one reality or one truth and then being faced with a new reality or a new truth and remembering the old one. A lot of people think it's because of time travel and the butterfly effect. Other people think it's jumping lines or, or a quantum reality shift. There's a bunch of different shit out there. But it, it's kind of a cool idea. Some other examples of it is uh, there was a museum that had a huge dinosaur and all of a sudden it magically disappeared and a bunch of people remember it being there but there's no records of it being there. Some people claim that there was an island mass beside Australia that is no longer there anymore. The most recent one that's been kind of rattling around in people's brains is Shazam. People believe that Sinbad was a genie in a movie called Shazam. But there is no actual record of a movie ever being released with Sinbad in it called Shazam, and Sinbad even came out to say that he was never in a movie called Shazam. So, it seems kind of cool, doesn't it? It, it would, if, if people didn't trample on the sanctity of, of a neat concept, but we don't live in that world. We live in a world where people make not one, two, three, four, five, but eight videos on the Mandela Effect. Now you're thinking to me, Nisa, how do you stretch out um, the Mandela Effect to make eight videos? Well, the answer is really simple. You use examples like this. You would spell Mitchell Musso, M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L-M-U-S-S-O. Like a fucking normal person. But no, bitch. His name has always been Mitchell M-I-T-C-H-E-L Muso. Like, what the fuck? Now, I have a big issue with this because a name, especially a famous name, and especially a name like Mitchell, can be spelt and interpreted in a lot of different ways. It having double L's is not the Mandela effect. That's just you never spelling out Mitchell Russo's name and never having to consider perhaps it's spelt in a different way than what you had thought. I highly doubt you were sitting at the end of, of Zoe 101 or whatever the hell show this guy was on and watched the credits and memorized his name. It, it's... I really doubt it. So pretty much that's what all of these videos are. It's not always that bad as Mitchell Russo having one L instead of two, but all of them are pretty much logo misspellings or things that you've never had to write out in your whole entire life so are easily misinterpreted. For example, another classic one is Sex in the City versus Sex and the City. See, with the way I say it, like, you could barely even hear the difference. It's, it's a common thing that we could mess up. Other things include Febreze. Spelt like this, right? Wrong. It's spelt with one E. <laughs> you would logically think Febreze would be spelt with two E's, but brand names do this all the time. They misspell things. It makes it a special snowflake. But I really thought Febreze was spelt with two E's. Not only that, but you're most likely to encounter one or two knockoff brands from the thing that you're used to buying. For example, there's probably a million knockoff Febreze brands of, of things that are pretty close to the spelling in the logo, but aren't exactly quite it. It even gets as bad as misremembering color coding for logos for energy companies. Apparently I've been fucking blue, blue, red, which I think is stupid. It looks weird, like it's not aesthetically pleasing compared to like the little switch like differentiated. Red, blue, 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 red, blue. Who the fuck knows, but uh, probably the company because they've been representing that logo for probably at least 10 years now. These women even go as far as to sometimes explain why or how they could have misremembered it while giving the example for their Mandela Effect video. I just, I just don't get it. But I thought it was just kind of a play on cartoons and that's how I remember it and that's how my boyfriend remembers it, but that's not even how it is. It's literally spelt the normal way, which is kind of dumb in my opinion. It's kind of getting fucked up and it's kind of getting painful to watch at this point. Especially this lady. Eight video- Eight! She's made eight videos! How? I fucking hate reading. Oh yeah, right, that's how- that's how- forgot. That is how. And that one honestly had me pretty shook. I'm so shook right now that I- I can't even. I can't even. That is how shook I am- I am currently. 
Why can't we just appreciate that there's maybe this cool phenomenon going on and leave it? But we have to over-dramatize things and over-layer it and give all of these examples and force-fuck it. And I don't enjoy the force-fucking. Something weird about it? To me there is. I thought it had a T in it. I guess what I'm trying to say is the Mandela effect in itself is kind of cool. It's interesting. But if you use just a little bit of logic just for like a second, you'll find that 99% of the examples that are being thrown out there are easily dismissed and are, are just fucking dumb. Just dumb. Stop. Stop making multiple videos about the same cancer, okay? We misread things. We, we remember colors wrong. It happens. Please. Find something else to milk. I'm getting tired of it. It's too much. The Mandela effect is real. Like, no fucking big deal. That's how you fucking spell barbecue, bitch. That's so hilarious, though.